If you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. But what if we teach him aqua farming? You'd probably feed him and his country. Since the 1950s, aquaculture production has exceeded capture production. Take the shrimp industry for example. Farmed shrimp today accounts for 50% of global shrimp production. And the global shrimp production has doubled in the past 10 years. Despite a major constraint, disease. Shrimp aquaculture is plagued with disease problems resulting from intensive and semi-intensive aquaculture with the use of hybrid species and high stocking density. Most of these diseases are caused by Vibrio and has cost the global shrimp industry $3 billion in a year. These diseases include running mortality, white fecal disease, EMS, and luminescent vibriosis. Current industry practice to control vibriosis is to preemptively treat shrimp with antibiotics. And aquaculture is one of the global industries where antibiotics are used indiscriminately. But that has its own drawbacks, like antibiotic resistant bacteria. Today, up to 90% of Vibrio are resistant to at least one type of antibiotic, and 20% of Vibrio are resistant to five types of antibiotics. Drug resistant bacteria are one of the most uh, serious public health issues that we face today. By the year 2050, we will have more people die from uh, antibiotic resistant infections than die currently from cancer. We've been using antibiotics for about 100 years, and during that time, the bacteria have learned to become resistant to those antibiotics. Today, due to use of antibiotics, shrimp farmers face export rejection from many countries. The antibiotics used in shrimps cannot discriminate between good and harmful bacteria. Thus, the use of antibiotics makes the shrimp less appetizing. A good strategy would be to destroy the pathogenic bacteria without affecting the good bacteria. Thankfully, nature has been doing this for a long time with bacteriophages. Phages are everywhere. They're in me and you. They're the most abundant entity on the planet. So how do phages combat bacteria? Well, for one, they are very selective hunters. If antibiotics are like a nuclear bomb, phages are a guided missile. This selectivity means it avoids the side effects that come with antibiotics. Here's how they infect bacteria. The phage finds its victim. It connects its tail fibers with receptors and uses a sort of syringe to puncture the surface. In a weird motion, the phage squeezes its tail and injects its genetic information. Within minutes, the bacteria is taken over. It's now forced to manufacture all the parts of new phages. They only stop when the bacteria is filled up with brand new phages. In the final step, they produce endolysin, a powerful enzyme that punches a hole in the bacteria. The pressure is so high that the bacteria sort of vomits out all of its insides and dies. New phages are released and begin the cycle anew. Using these phages, Aristogen has come up with a solution. Elixir, a bacteriophage-based feed additive, which is a formulation of potent phages at high concentration. Elixir is an all-natural, non-chemical, phagebiotic feed additive for the control of vibriosis in aquaculture, both in the grow-out pond and nursery. Elixir and Vibrio Shield are a cocktail of broad host range phages, and the phages are updated periodically to counter the ever changing Vibrio population. In many of the controlled commercial trials conducted, Elixir has shown to increase survival, yield per hectare, average daily weight gain, and significantly better FCR. And our customers can vouch for that. Hi, this is Nishant Reddy. Uh, I am a farmer based in Nellore, Andhra Pradesh. We have been using uh, Vibrio Shield and Elixir over the last one year. The results uh, for Elixir and Vibrio Shield have been promising. We have done several field trials. We basically check uh, feeding through the scoop net. So we can see the animals here. No signs of Vibrio, no signs of stress with the treatment of uh, phage biotics. I am Jay Srinivas, production manager at Samudra Hatcheries. A few years back, most of the antibiotics are banned and some are permitted. And this is a challenging factor to us. Vibrio Shield is a product, what very innovative product and we are continuously using the product and we are getting a good result. Uh, 50 gram elixir, and regular 15 DOC. இது கம்பல்சரி இப்படி கொடுக்கும்போது இது வந்து நமக்கு வந்து எப்படி வந்து ஒரு பிறந்த குழந்தைக்கு தாய்ப்பால் முக்கியமோ அந்த மாதிரி ஃபஸ்ட்டு நர்சரியில் பண்ணும்போது நிறைய எல்லா ப்ரோபாயிட்டிக்கும் கொடுத்து பார்த்தேன் ஒர்க் அவுட்டே ஆகலை இந்த ரெண்டு ப்ரோபாயிட்டிக்கு நான் அடிக்கிறேன் விப்ரியோ ஷீல்டு எலிக்சர் எனக்கு நல்லா இருக்குது எனக்கு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இதில் ஒரு பதினஞ்சு நாள் அங்கே போய் ஒரு அறுபத்தஞ்சி டு எழுபது நாள் நான் போகும்போது எனக்கு எந்த விதமான வேறு அனதர் பிரச்சனைகள் எதுவுமே அதில் கிடையாது ஆனால் ஃபஸ்ட்டு கிராப்லாம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இதில் லோக்கல் ப்ரோபாயிட்டிக்கெலாம் கொடுத்து பண்ணும்போது எனக்கு உள்
எல்லா பிரச்சனையும் வந்துச்சு இந்த விப்ரியோ ஷீல்டு எலிக்சர் இந்த மாதிரி எக்ஸ்சேஞ்சு இதெல்லாம் போகும்போது எனக்கு வந்து பானில் போய் நல்லா பர்ஃபார்ம் பண்ணுது மேடம் ஃபேட் பயோட்டிக்ஸ் ஒரு க்ரீனர் அண்ட் மோஸ்ட் சஸ்டெயினபிள் ஆல்டர்னேட்டிவ் டு ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக்ஸ் ந கோயிங் பேக் டு திஸ் கோட் If you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. If you teach him aqua farming, he can feed his country, but arm him with phage biotics like Elixir and Vibrio Shield, he can feed the world. <laughs>